Okay, joined by manager Luke Garrett before tomorrow's uh, encounter with Oldham Athletic at home. Uh, just quickly, we'll, we'll touch on uh, Saturday. Have you had a chance to watch it back and, and what have you learned and taken away from that game? No, I learned that my players are fully committed, fully behind each other, fully together. Um, as my impressions were on Saturday, straight after the event, I felt there was a lot of positivity in the second half performance. Maybe not in terms of scoring a goal, not getting anything from the game. Totally understand that. But like I said, there's a manner in which you lose games of football. And on Saturday, I felt that we were very productive in terms of clubbing together and trying to earn something from the game. And yeah, full credit goes to them players that started the second half and, and come off the bench to aid getting something. Unfortunately, didn't get anything from the game. Yeah, well, you said after that game that having a game straight after on Tuesday is a positive thing. Have you sensed that from the players today? Are they, are they almost fired up to put on a performance tomorrow? 100%. I would never, ever question this group of players. A group of players that play for me because I'm very much, I want them to mirror me. I come in today very excited to go to work. I went to work straight away on Saturday evening, watching Oldham's game and then Sunday again, watching Oldham's game to prep it with Jake. So, look, we're in a rut. We're in a, a form at the minute that we need to get out of, but we're not going to get out of it sulking or being upset and down. We're going to get out of it sticking together. And I believe in this group. I believe in them because our early season form tells me we're a good side. Our FA Cup form tells me we're a good side. We're not getting beat fours, fives, sixes. We're getting beat by one nils. And at the minute, we're on the wrong end of them. Our defensive record is still so good. We're the best, third best defensive record in the division. Just we just need a little bit more luck, but you get your own luck in football. We know that. You you work hard. The harder you work, the luckier you get. And they come in today ready to work. They come in focused, understand the game plan tomorrow. And yeah, we're looking forward to testing ourselves against Oldham. Yeah, you just mentioned it out, uh, Oldham. Have you what had a chance to see much of them and uh, what are you expecting? Watch their last three games, Barnet, Maystone and Solio. Um they're a team in transition and that's with their management team and their players. You've got personnel in there. They've got number 42, Clark, number 27, Abraham, number 26, Kitchen, number 36, Chapman. These are all lads that have come in. But when you see squad numbers of that size, they have some disposal to their in terms of choice of player. Um, if I was to name you their back four, Sheeran, Hogan, Clark and Kitchen, that's a top six, seven back four. Um, Rooney, Maynard, Gardner, Chapman, Peck. These are three midfielders, in my opinion, can go and walk into any top seven side in the division. Then you go Abraham, then you've brought in Reed, then you go Hope, then you go Tollett. These are lads that have got unbelievable experience in the division. These are lads that have got winning medals from the division. These are lads that have got 100 plus appearances in the leagues above, they're a fantastic set of boys that he has available to his disposal. Again, not getting it right just yet. But I'm not foolish. We need to be right on our game tomorrow. Um, they counter well. They break really quick. They've got great runners with intent in the eye. Hope makes his out to in runs from the right-hand side, left-hand side. Kitchen and Tollett down the left-hand channel. Their relationship's fantastic. Hogan, Clark, go and head everything that moves. We've got our work cut out tomorrow. We need to perform. We need to perform to our maximum to go and get three points. And we need three points. This isn't a want. This is a need. We need three points tomorrow. And this isn't a pressure game. This doesn't define our season. But we've not won in however many games. We need three points tomorrow. Now. So by hook or by crook, whoever we're facing... The opposition, I don't care. It's about what we do. And I say that loosely about not caring. David Unsworth, fantastic. His management team's fantastic. Like I said, he's got a squad that is very, very good. But it's about what we do. Unfortunate, but it is. It's exactly what we do in our in our changing room. The boys have been given a directive. They need to stick to that. And if they go about that, let's hope we can go and get three points. Yeah, well, you mentioned after the red card on Saturday, you, you changed to a back four and you said in your post-match that it was something you wanted to have a look at. I appreciate it. it's obviously a quick turnaround, but is that something you've had a chance to, to look at or analyse? 
I think people are naturally accustomed to a back four anyway. So the likes of Femi Lee, Sammy, I played with Femi, he played for me at the football club as initial left back. Cameron Cox played for Solio Colchester as a natural right back. Um, the centre half, yeah, you have to get a little bit accustomed to probably just two of you as opposed to there's a three of you at the back. But we haven't had the luxury to work on it. Why? Because we are on a second day recovery and we are trying to prep hold them as best we possibly can. But in terms of that, the back four, I think, worked on Saturday. For that matter, does it work tomorrow night? We'll have a look here. We've got a couple of decisions to make. Will Evans is obviously struggling with his ankle to see whether he's going to be fit tomorrow. He did do the, the warm-up um, today. Jamal Fifield, we are appealing the red card. Um, we feel we have grounds for that, and I believe that is ongoing as we speak. So we'll have a little bit more of an understanding come 4.35 o'clock today to see if that's been um, upturned. And obviously, if not, we've got person that are waiting, Kyron, Kyron, Johnson, uh, Kyron Gordon, Kyron Johnson, Kyron Gordon, that he, he was out on the 16 on Saturday and he wants an opportunity to go and get his shirt back. So, yeah, if them two boys are not available or one's available or both available, then, yeah, we're in good shape. So, if it's a back four or a back three, all I ask my team to do is have the same temperament, application, endeavour as they did in the second half. And I'll always be a happy manager. Yeah. And then finally, just to touch on recovery, obviously, with the busy period now, game's coming thick and fast. How, how is the squad feeling ahead of tomorrow? Yeah, good. Positive. I can't have it any other way. Can't have it any other way. We obviously got a little niggle with Will Evans. Rico still got a little niggle in his knee. So he's not been in the squads recently. Obviously, Connor and Dion as per. Um, and you're going to have tired bodies. But it's a mindset. Mm. When we was in the playoffs, ever however many years ago, in the when we went to Tranmere with Wembley, we was in virtually every single day from that quarter final. You wouldn't know it. The energy levels because you've won games of football. The intensity levels because you're winning games of football. It's a mindset. So there is a little bit of tiredness, a little bit of um, hurt bodies, but nah, everyone's prepped, everyone's ready. And the actions now are very much full throttle for Oldham coming to town tomorrow evening.